check out my sparkly eyeshadow. Second of all, there are two types of women that grate on my ever-loving nerves. And these two different types of women could be the same women at different points in time. The first type of woman is the woman who is depressed and sad and never has anything, um, any energy to do anything, never really gets involved in her kids' lives, is never really... Um, mentally and emotionally there for her children um, but as soon as she gets into a relationship all of a sudden she's sprightly and has all the energy in the world to hang out with a man and is all up in his life and wanting to get shit going for him and make his dreams come true and be involved in his comings and goings the second type of woman is the woman who is only mentally emotionally there for her children when she is single when she's single, my kids are my life. I love my son. I love my daughter. My kids are my world. I would do anything for my children. I live for my children. And then as soon as she gets a boyfriend, she's all about her boyfriend. And now she's arguing with her kids about how they need to hurry up and grow the fuck up and get out of her house and stop being lazy while her man sits on his ass and he gets to be lazy and not do shit. Now all of a sudden her and her kids are at odds and she's pawning them off on their grandma, their cousins, their aunts, so that she can spend her every waking second with her man. I've known both types of women throughout my life and it's so odd to watch especially on social media um, the first woman is always sad and depressed she's the one who's usually constantly always making jokes about how hard motherhood is motherhood is hard but this woman she never has anything good to say about her children anything she's just always up to nothing until she has a man and then you've never seen her out and about this much you didn't even know she was able to walk because you always see her not doing shit the other woman you see her post about her children all the time my kids are my life i don't understand how women can have a life outside of their children i'm always home with my children and then as soon as she gets a man it's just pictures of her and her man all the time you suck as a mother if the only time you're excited about life is when a man is involved. You suck as a mom if the only time you love your children is when you're single and there ain't no other options. And it's just you. I have seen too many women over the years completely turn their backs on their children as soon as they get into a relationship. There, you guys know the movie um, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, Willy Wonka, and we all joke about how the grandpa was just laying in bed and sickly until uh, Charlie got the golden ticket. That's how a lot of these women are when it comes to men. They're just, oh, I can't do nothing. And as soon as I get the man, get a man. I got the golden ticket. And these type of women, unfortunately, are the types of women who get taken advantage of. And even more so, unfortunately, they're the type of women who allow their children to get taken advantage of by the men that they get in these relationships with. I didn't even get into the situation of women who get pregnant and they only keep the baby because they think that that will keep the man in their life. Now that's a whole nother video that I'm gonna have to do.